I have a proposition to make. You aren't as money savvy as you might think. In fact, we have all, myself included, rewired our brains to believe that saving is the best way to save money. Why not? The price is reduced so you are saving money by paying a smaller amount than you would have originally. However, the intriguing fact to consider is that you could, in fact, save 100% of this money. I propose that our 21st century society has been psychologically brainwashed to believe that sales equate to saving. No, instead we are spending more to save less. Let me put this into perspective for you. You're looking for a simple pen to purchase. However, before you reach your destination, the biro, a second route opens. What sits before you is a pen glistening in the Kmart light. It's reduced by 95%. What a bargain. It's $1.50, but in the grand scheme of things, it was originally $30. And quite frankly, $1.50 is the bargain of the century. You could write wonders with that pen. Maybe you'll be the next Shakespeare, the literary legend of the 21st century. However, when you get home, it doesn't work. In fact, it's the pen of your nightmares. We've all been the victim of this mindset. However, we must take the initiative th to think beyond these sales and into the future when we certainly don't need that pen. This illuminates the issue of delayed reward discounting. This refers to the disregard of the long-term impact of spending. People can see something and want it immediately. They see something they can have now, and this is more preferable than waiting and buying larger, more worthwhile items in the form of long-term discounts in the future. This is confirmed by a study conducted in 2011, which explored the neurological and behavioral science of spending. This is the psychological pandemic taking all people by storm. There are two types of people, people with a deliberative mindset and people with an implemental mindset. People with a deliberative mindset like to analyze and think about the decisions they make. They like to consider all options and assess their value before solidifying that decision. Conversely, implemental people like to make impulsive decisions. This is the same for shopping. However, sales don't discriminate. Price anchoring is the idea that you are saving a large sum of money. Rather than looking at the quantitative value of the sale price, people can look at the original price and convince themselves that this is high, but they are lucky because they don't have to pay this. This comparison minimizes the effect the old price holds. Therefore, deliberative thinkers see this as the perfect way to buy something and save in the process. On the other hand, implemental people see this as a great sale in general. Either way, you see a way to save, but realistically, you are spending more to save. I was eight years old and I decided to spend my four pounds on a pair of gorgeous suede loafers. I knew they had to be mine because they were the only pair left on the shelf and their reduction made my heart skip a beat. They had been 40 pounds and now they were four pounds. I know, a pretty sacred discovery. To this day, I still have that pair of shoes. However, needless to say, I didn't wear them once. Why? Well, they weren't my size, and you probably can't see in the photo, but they're actually different colours. <laughs> We've all been the victim of this mindset. However, we must take the initiative to think beyond these sales and into the future, when we certainly don't need that pair of loafers. In 2013, 63% of people admitted to buying something they didn't need. And I'll be the first to admit that I used to be part of that majority. And I'm sure that many people in this room today are. In the brain are a series of different sections, each controlling different functions in the body. In particular, an area called the insula is activated whenever you experience displeasure, warning you not to complete that displeasing activity. This, therefore, insula can stop your spending. However, it can also increase your perceived saving. The less insula that is activated, the more likely you are to continue doing what you're doing. Therefore, perceived saving could be a dangerous path to indulge in. Taking the time to view these circumstances from a more methodical and rational perspective can help with these saving goals in the future. And that pen story? If you didn't buy those gimmick pens every week, you'd be $78 richer by the end of the year. So I urge you all, don't be ignorant spenders. Be savvy and spend your money wisely. 
Don't get caught up in the psychological tricks. If you take me up on this, I assure you no regrets. So next time you see something on sale, challenge yourself to think, would I need it if it were full price? If not, you certainly don't need it now. Thank you.